that little maneuver wasted about 45 minutes of daylight. Like the terrain here is unforgiving, which brings me to the subject of the immortal truth or the savagery of nature and the animal kingdom in general. Like you wouldn't want to run into like some wild dog or predatory animal out here where they tear you to shreds and rip your face off. Tooth and talon. The sight of like a 20 inch blade or anything sharp. I mean, they're gonna think twice because that's going right into their head, so. So we got arm blades, spear, extra knife, extra water. And that's probably why I like it out here so much. It's like a staple in my life. There's no bullshit. It's, it's like you either work your ass off to get to the top of that mountain or you're not gonna see what it looks like from the top. Mountain lions don't give a shit. Black bears don't give a shit. Gravity doesn't give a shit. And I'm sure Sasquatch doesn't give a shit either. Gotta make this little detour again. You can kind of see the the willow. It's that red looking bark. It has medicinal properties. It's got like some kind of acid, which can be compared to like a painkiller. See if I can't get close to one. Well, here's some. No, it's like wild rose. Still gotta be looking out for prairie rattlers. But that's what it looks like. It's very red. You know, like Native Americans take the stem you know, make a circle out of it, <clears throat> make dream catchers, you know, medicine wheels, stuff like that. Like I said, I'm only half, so I didn't really grow up in the culture. Yeah, the last time I came here, it's about the same time last year. Like this time it was a complete accident, but <laughs> Yeah, there was like some deer carcasses and it's a beautiful little grove with a pond and fish and completely surrounded by rocks. It's very shady, dark forest, but still beautiful. Now I'm in the shadow of the mountain. The sun's right there. Not too much farther. Oh, there's an airplane. <clears throat> but like I said, Completely surrounded by rocks, mountain. I mean, it really is like, probably the safest place for a mountain lion to be. Here's the pond and stream. Last time I came here, there was fish in here, but it's kind of getting dark. 
like I said, I don't have too much time out here, so I gotta kinda book it. So you can see the trail right here. Game trail. It's more of the pond. Can't really see in there though, too much. So maybe, maybe last hunting season somebody got them, but <clears throat> I'm not seeing any uh, bones or carcasses out here anymore. Time to go home.